Hello my dear students, very good afternoon. We are going to discuss the Hindu data March 10 today. So, I expect that uh, everyone, I expect everyone to be uh, participating in the program. Those who cannot participate live should watch this program later on. Uh, the aim of the program is to let you know things as uh, pieces of stories and if you watch the program regularly over a period of time you would understand that you understand things like stories. So, let us begin discussing, discussing the Hindu date at March 10. Uttarkhand Chief Minister Rawat resigns. Uh, that is the major news of the day. Uttarkhand Chief Minister Rawat resigns. Uh, Uttarkhand Chief Minister Trivendra Singh Rawat tendered his resignation to Governor. Former Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Raman Singh and Rajya Sabha member Dushan Gautam sent by BJP's national leadership as observers to Dehradun will conduct a meeting of the legislative party to elect a new leader. So, this is one of the problems faced by smaller states, newly born states in India. No government is able to complete their uh, five year term thanks to political uncertainties and fluidities. In the case of uh, Uttarkhand, only one government by Endi Tiwari uh, has so far been able to complete its five year term. So, the fluidity that is political fluidity or uncertainties that is uh, uh, very common with regard to small states, newly born states in India continues with uh, Uttarkhand also. Over 72 percent rise in UAPA cases in 2019 is very disturbing. UAPA is the uh, new avatar of the earlier TADA, Terrorism and Disruptive Activities Prevention Act. UAPA means Unlawful Activities Prevention Act in 2019, uh, act, act, uh, to, sorry Unlawful Prevention Act in 2000. When compared to 2015, the number of cases has gone up by 72 percent in uh, uh, UAPA cases, which is very disturbing and uh, the cases, uh, the highest number of cases uh, uh, is registered in Manipur 306 followed by Tamil Nadu 270, Jammu Kashmir 255, Jharkhand 105, Assam 87 cases. Highest number of arrests were made in, uh, uh, highest number of arrests in the same case uh, is made in uh, UP 498 cases. So, it is quite disturbing that tough laws are used against citizens uh, by the authorities. Anyway, uh, Terrorism Disruptive Prevention Act TADA invited a lot of criticism when it was uh, uh, in place, but its new avatar is no less tough a legislation. Supreme Court questions delay in setting up environmental regulator. It was early as early as in 2011 that Supreme Court asked the government of the day to come out with a, an environment, environmental regulator, but the governments both Congress as well as BJP government uh, failed to come out with an environmental regulator. So, when this when a, a case was taken up uh, recently in the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court asked the government why could not a regulator of environment be set up uh, uh, and uh, soon hopefully a new regulator of environment will come out. An environment, environmental regulator independent of the government will become, will have more teeth and in controlling environmental damages that big projects may bring to the country. Okay. So, uh, the 
the case was taken up in 2011 in Lafarge uh, Umium Mining Private Limited versus Union of India commonly known as Lafarge Mining case. It was in this case that Supreme Court asked the central government to set up a regulatory body for uh, environment, but the government simply not government governments after that simply brushed it under the carpet, but now the Supreme Court has taken it up again. Do you know we found that wildlife board of India has not met in 6 years. In the last 6 years wildlife board of India has not met. This is opined by the chief justice of India. So, this all show the callousness on the part of the government when it in the name of development all these environment, wildlife, everything takes the back seat. The first question is given to you who among the following tennis players has been one of that remained as the world's top ranked for most weeks. Every week new world ranking comes for professional tennis players who has been the number one for maximum number of weeks. Is it Novak Jokovic, Roger Federer, Rafa Nadal, Bjorn Borg or Pete Sampras all are great champions of tennis. Yes, spontaneous answer and that one to correct it is uh, Novak Jokovic which is the answer. Jokovic is the correct answer. He has been uh, he has uh, moved past when past Roger Federer upon a record of 311 weeks. So, he moved past Roger Federer our answer is Jokovic. Roger Federer was a classical tennis player, um, uh, Rafael Nadal was uh, uh, known for the power game, but Jokovic was a very silent leader all these years. We would think that he was under the shadow of both Roger Federer and uh, Rafael Nadal, but he has equaled Roger Federer as regards the number of grand slams and uh, he has now been the tennis player who has been at the top ranking for the maximum number of weeks 311. Yes, uh, enduring greatness this editorial is the most felicitous one uh, to a great tennis player among the big three in men's tennis Jovak Nokovic has been least appreciated by fans and followers which could be very true. If Roger Federer's wizardly, wizardry has elevated the sport to unseen levels aesthetically. Rafael Nadal's rugged art artistry has stretched to its athletic extremes. So, yes true excellent statements regarding two great players. Um, Roger Federer has taken the game to high aesthetic levels while athleticism was the hallmark of uh, the game of Rafael Nadal. Jokovic's elastic genius has straddled the space between and has at times been offset by his on off his, his on court demeanor and grinding style of play. But on Monday the 33 year old embarked upon a record of 3 11th week at the top of ATP singles ranking going past Federer a great champion and great tribute by uh, the Hindu through an apt editorial. Please read a beautiful beautiful language and uh, a great literature on a great champion. Parliament stalls again over fuel price hike. We know that the fuel prices have been going on like anything going up like anything in India. Uh, uh, presently there is no hike for the past 10 12 days that could be only the re only reason could be that uh, elections are going to happen in 4 states of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Assam and West Bengal. 
once elections are over in all these places we can expect the oil prices to get hardened and that is a that is the politics of fuel. Now uh, during the pandemic time the, when the oil prices came down like anything the international oil price came down to less than 20 dollar per barrel then immediately the government hiked the uh, excise duty to very high levels from uh, minimum level to a very high level citing the requirement of mobilizing more revenues to fight pandemic the government increased the uh, petrol prices. When petrol prices was deregulated many years ago the promise was that when the international prices go up we will be charged more and when the international prices come down we will be charged less. But the second part never took place the prices have been spiraling all the time and now it is going to create a kind of a cascading effect in the economy. Reserve Bank of India may find it very difficult to manage inflation because inflation fueled by high prices of a fuel cannot be uh, contained that fast that soon. Farm loss discussion in UK is gross interference. Uh, British Parliament has discussed the farm loss in India and uh, government says that uh, Indian government says that it is a gross interference in the domestic affairs of India. So, Indian government is putting pressure on the British government for discussing the farm loss and the related protests in India in the British Parliament. We can say and claim that it is an interference on the internal affairs of India, but we have to understand that this is how democracies open democracies function and they may discuss anything or everything. So, <coughs> you cannot control India is going to face more criticism in the days to come if farmers laws are amicab not amicably settled. Uh, mind you it has crossed 100 days and today it is 102 days since the farmers started the protests. Wear masks properly or get off plane. This is an incident that took place in an, in an, in an Air India flight a domestic flight from Kolkata to Delhi. Uh, uh, one high court judge was also there in the flight and uh, despite request by cabin crew some of the passengers did not wear the mask properly immediately the judge um, issued guidelines. Flight passengers who exhibit stubborn reluctance to wear their masks properly could now get offloaded immediately or to be placed in no fly list as per fresh guidelines issued by Delhi High Court. Second question name the Indian state that does not share a common border with the neighboring Myanmar. This question has got relevance because uh, from Myanmar people are seeking asylum in Indian states. So, uh, all of a sudden that part that part of the Indian border has become as assumed uh, uh, prominence. So, which state does not share a border with uh, Myanmar is it Assam, Mizoram, Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh or Nagaland which state does not that is a question. Please answer. Which state does not? Which state does not share a common border? That is my question. The state that does not share a common border with uh, Myanmar is Assam. Assam does not have uh, a common border with Myanmar, Mizoram has, Manipur has, Arunachal Pradesh has and Nagaland has. So, four states in India share a common border with uh, Myanmar they are Mizoram, Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. So, our answer is the first option. 
as arm. Mizoram evades center's direction on refugees. Yesterday we discussed this matter that uh, that is why he said so if you watch the program regularly you will get it as a story. Yesterday also we discussed this matter. Uh, people from Myanmar are knocking at the Indian borders and uh, a few of them have crossed over to Mizoram and uh, they have sought asylum in India. Now the Mizoram government evades central government's clearance uh, on or directions on refugees. Uh, we know that uh, political protests are continuing in, in Myanmar against the military on February 1, 2021. Uh, the democratically elected government by Wilmand uh, of National Democracy, National League for Democracy in Myanmar was toppled by the military through a coup and uh, the leaders Aung San Suu Kyi, National Councillor, State Councillor and Myanmar's President Wilmand both are under house arrest. Now people are on the street protesting against uh, the military uh, ruling. So, military is using all its force and might to disperse people. So, people are scared. Now, natural that they have migrated to their neighboring countries. So, they have migrated to India. So, Indian state of Mizoram awaits directions from refugees, uh, sorry, from this central government on refugees. Delhi High Court seeks response on petition against new IT rules. So, uh, IT in, uh, intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics code 2021 claiming it seeks to regulate online new portals by imposing government oversight and vaguely called as code of ethics. Yesterday the Supreme Court uh, uh, judge uh, during a hearing asked for a, a penalty uh, uh, citing that these are only guidelines which lacks which lack tooth. So, now it is the turn of the Delhi High Court uh, that seeks response on petition against new IT rules. You must understand that uh, the government of India came out with uh, IT intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics code 2021. Queen vows to address Harry and Meghan's racism claims. Recently, uh, the uh, grandchildren of uh, British Queen Elizabeth II, a grandchild and his uh, wife uh, have uh, uh, criticized uh, the British royal family for racism. Uh, Meghan uh, is uh, adopted to the British uh, uh, royal family. So, responded to explosive racism claims from her grandson Prince Harry and his wife Meghan voicing deep concern and sympathizing with their troubles with royal life. The whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. She said in a statement, the issues raised particularly that of race are concerning. While some recollections may vary. They are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved family members, says the official uh, uh, response from the British Queen. Read. Third question, name the country that has issued the world's first virus passport, the digital certificate which shows a user's vaccination status and virus test results. Is it India, China, USA, Japan or New Zealand? Please, the first country to come out with a virus passport or a digital certificate detailing uh, the vaccination status and test results of a person. Yes, correct answer I got it is uh, China that has come out with uh, a, a virus passport. In first, in a first China launches virus passport, 
China has launched a health certificate program for Chinese international travelers leading the world in plans for so called virus passports. The digital certificate which shows a user's vaccination status and virus test results is available for Chinese citizens via program a program on Chinese social media platform WeChat. Government asked refiners to diversify oil imports after OPEC plus move. OPEC plus decided last week to largely continue production cuts in April. Uh, that was the reason OPEC company op OPEC plus company countries have decided that they will not revise their decision to control oil production. This will create a kind of an oil shock. So, the oil prices may go up because of two reasons. Reason number one that they are not producing more meaning supply side will get weakened. Number two the decision that OPEC countries will not increase production will create panic in the market and the buyers will buy more than what they require and that will create more demand and hence higher prices. So, world's third biggest oil consumer imports about 84 percent of its crude needs with over 60 percent of that coming from West Asian countries that is a problem with India. We uh, depend on our oil needs 84 percent of our oil needs are uh, met by imports and that too 60 percent from West Asian countries. As OTP deliveries fail try holds back no, hold backs norm on commercial tax. Recently try the telecom regulatory development authority try said that uh, uh, the commercial uh, uh, SMS uh, those entities must register with try and since most of the companies have not followed they stopped it uh, immediately many services including code vaccine registration got disturbed, banks works were disturbed. So, now TRI has given a 7 day relaxation on implementation of down some commercial text messages. So, keep on reading. Fourth question, Kaniru Hampi who has won the BBC Indian Sportswoman of the Year award is a champion in badminton, table tennis, wrestling, chess and golf a very simple open question. I am sure all my students would answer this. Kaniru Hampi. Her name is associated with which sport event? Yes, very good. Kaniru Hampi is a Hampi is a Hyderabad girl chess champion and she is a grandmaster. Who among the following Indian sports personalities has won the BBC's lifetime achievement award recently. Kaniru Hampi I shall speak once more that uh, she is an Indian grandmaster and world rapid chess champion. She is she has won BBC's Iswoti award I S W O T T Y. This is what Kaniru Hampi has won. BBC's Isothi Award. Okay, the next question is this: a Lifetime Achievement Award. Who has won? Yes, it is won by Anju Bobby George, uh, Indian athlete. The only medal by the by an Indian in the world athletic meet when she won a third prize a bronze medal in long jump. Manu Bhakar who won the BBC's emerging player of the year award is associated with very important questions all these are.
Manu Bakar, she is aged only 16. She won 2 gold at the World Cup in 2018, followed by a gold at the Youth Olympics and a Commonwealth Games gold with a record to boot. So, Banu Bhagar is uh, shooting very correct, very correct shooting. In the ISSF World Cup in 2018, she won two gold medal, followed by a gold in the Youth Olympics and she won a gold with record in the Commonwealth Games. Hampi is BBC's Indian sportswoman. Konir Hampi's picture is given. World Rapid Chess Champion Konir Hampi has won the BBC uh, Indian Sportswoman of the Year award. Uh, Manu Bhakar, Emerging Player of the Year award, and Anju Bobby George, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Very important. My dear students, thank you very much for watching the program. I am sure that uh, you have enjoyed this program, ensure that uh, you uh, go through these questions that we have answered that will be available in the daily Gyan section of our application. Those uh, who have uh, are the online students of us are requested to watch daily programs, daily uh, we you know that uh, the, the contents of uh, the course are given in a systematic way. So, you too have got to have plans and attempt the programs very systematically, watch our uh, daily news analysis and learn the program as and get the connect, improve the connect with the, what is happening around you. And I am very sure, I repeat, I am very sure that uh, if you watch this program regularly, at some point of time you will understand that you understand things as stories and that is the best way of learning. At 3 o'clock, we shall meet again with another class on either math, QA or reasoning. Till then, 